I was lucky enough to find this pretty decent pallet that I'm going to use it to do my next project with. It with these nice wide slats that are three quarter inch. So to break this down, this would give me some plenty of free lumber to, to make my next project. And I think my uh, first one is gonna be the Lunar Moth project. Because this is pine, it's pretty brittle, so I decided just to use the skill saw and cut it down even with the runners there. See, what you see there is that's my vise holding onto the center part of the pallet. I took the edges off, cut them through with the skill saw, and now on the top, as you see here, I just got these, and because this is in the middle of the vise, I could just literally pull these right off. Okay, so from one, that one pallet, I was able to get two and three wide boards. So I've got three, four, five. They're inch thick boards. Plus, I'm also able to get the rails, which are two inch by four inch. And I'm sure I can do something with these. I like to make hammers out of them, or you know, just little mallets. So what does this mean? Well, it's pretty simple. You know, everybody breaks down pallets differently, and everybody makes meatloaf differently. At least here in the States, every family makes it a little different. Every woodworker breaks down pallets a little different. If some people don't ever break down pallets, and they only buy wood, and some houses never make meatloaf. Or they may not be in the States, and they don't make it. So. If I'm out in the field, I like to use uh, Izzy Swan's uh, pallet jack there uh, to be able to break down pallets, but when it's five degrees outside, I'm not going to spend much time out there breaking down pallets out in the field, so I'll throw them in the back of my vehicle, and I got a big honking vise, so it helps to, to break it down. Now, uh, not every pallet you'll be able to do this way, not every you know one has a, a vise to be able to do that, but for me, in this situation, it works well. So come up with your own techniques. Hopefully this inspires you and it gives you a little tip on how to break them down. And please, whatever you do, don't buy pallets. I saw them at one of the craft shows that people were selling pallets. That's crazy. Don't ever buy a pallet. But anyways, you have a great day. Thanks for watching my quick little tip on how I'm breaking down pallets. At least now, maybe that'll change. Have a great day.